Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's Fast Food. Today, we're gonna turn the volume right up and make the most epic meatball sub that you've ever seen in less than 30 minutes. So, let's get started. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So guys, with our meatball subs, the first thing that we're gonna do is make a really quick, easy, simple meatball that anyone can put together, and I bet you've got most of the ingredients at home right now. Just into a bowl, I've got some ground beef or some beef mince. Try not to get too fatty. You want about a 90-10 split for this recipe. So with the beef, what I want you to add in is some chopped up onion and also some chopped up fresh garlic. Next, I've got a couple of fresh herbs, some basil and also some parsley. Next, just to give it a bit of a kick, I'm gonna be adding in just a few drops of some Tabasco sauce and just season well with some salt and pepper. And the best way for this, make sure your hands are nice and clean and I'm just gonna get in there and mix together those ingredients. So that's all I want. I don't want to over mix anything. Okay, so that's our meatball mixture done. So all I'm gonna do now is just grab a piece of the meatball, roll it up in my hands, and that's the shape that we're after. So just keep repeating that process with the mixture that you've got here. Now I'm gonna sear off our meatballs. I'm not gonna cook them all the way through, but I do wanna get some color on the outside. So just into a pan, I've got some olive oil here, and I want the pan over a medium to high heat, and we're gonna be popping in those meatballs. And like I said, it's only gonna take about a minute. I just wanna get some nice color and sear off that beef on the outside. So now that we've done our meatballs, browned them off, I've put them to one side, just very quickly, a sauce that's gonna go with our meatball subs. Just into a jug here, I've got some tomato passata or tomato puree. To that, I'm gonna be adding in some fresh mushrooms that I've just sliced up. And I'm just going to season with some salt and also some pepper. And I'm just going to give that a quick mix. So we're incorporating those mushrooms with that tomato base that we're gonna be putting over our bread shortly. Now, the bread that I'm gonna be using today is a Turkish bread. I love these, big, big fan of these, love the flavor, and it goes so well with this. You don't have to use one of these. You could use whatever bread. You could even just put them in some half-cut rolls if you wanted to. So just on the top of our Turkish bread, I've got some of that tomato mixture that I'm just gonna add over the top, spread it around, get those mushrooms. Now, for me, it needs another vegetable to go with that mushroom. So what I've got here is some cucumber and I've just sliced it into ribbons using a peeler. And I'm just gonna lay that flat down on top. And now for those delicious quick meatballs that we browned off just before, I'm just gonna place them on top. So we're really packing them in on the top. Now, I'm going to be adding just a little bit more of that tomato, just drizzle, just drizzle it over those meatballs. And finally, what I'm gonna be putting over the top is some grated Romano cheese. Now, you don't have to use this cheese, you can use cheddar, you could use Parmesan, you could use mozzarella. It is up to you completely. Now, that looks so good already, but we wanna put it into the oven and we're gonna put it in there for about 20 to 25 minutes at 190 degrees C. And I'm let, it, let me tell you, when this comes out, this will be one hell of a bad boy. So I've sliced up this meatball sub and we're gonna give this a try. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, it's tickling me in all the right places, let me tell you. Just, you know, big flavors, strong flavors. But then that sort of richness of the tomato and then the richness of the meatball and then those fresh herbs that are in there are just dancing around your mouth. It is just, it doesn't look the softest food, it doesn't look the daintiest little bit of food, but the flavors are all there and it's intense. And you know, when you want something really comfort food type eating, this is what you want to go for. It's awesome. How about that meatball sub, hey? So far, so easy to do, and the flavors are just bang, and it's just big, and it's just epic, and I love it. So give it a try. All the ingredients are below in the description for it. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I will see you this coming Monday for another Budget Meals recipe. So until then, you take care.